Okay, so in this vlog, I am doing a doing starter locks on a client. Um, I had done some locks on her before, but life happens and you know she wasn't able to get back to me for a retwist and then i think at some point she was just like you know what i'm gonna start over so she took them down and we are reinstalling them in um this particular vlog uh i'm in this vlog you're gonna see like me um like parting out her hair and then reparting it um, I'm a stickler for parts for whatever the reason is I'm never satisfied with the way it looks the first time like I part through the hair um, I'm always trying to make sure that I get um, Her grid. I mean, I know they're not sister locks, but her lock pattern or lock patterns on my clients heads as nice as possible um, I feel like you know Our hair is a representation of who we are it's the first thing people do are like our face and the way we look is the first thing people see when we walk out the door and so i would hate to be the reason that somebody feels uncomfortable with their appearance so i'm always trying to make sure that i get it right and i'm asking questions in between so this video took um or this installing her starter locks um took about an hour or so maybe two two hours give or take um but the, a lot of that is because i'm always reparting and checking and then you know i talk and converse with my clients so in any case i cut it down to about eight minutes and i hope you enjoy Okay, so it was at about this point when I realized that I should probably check the ends of my client's hair before I, um, before I, uh, sorry, I got a message. Before I, um, start, uh, their starter locks, um, because you can see a little bit at the end of the ones closer to her ear. Um, where I tried to comb coil them all the way down to their end and it looks kind of frayed um, And later on in the clip uh, or video you're going to be able to see um, Where the higher up I get on her head the more frayed those ends kind of look and I just didn't like that It didn't look as clean as it could have because I did not clip those ends and so I did talk to her about it and we opted for just continuing to do it anyway. At this point, she's budded and um, her locks still look really good. But I think going forward, um, I'm going to start giving a small trim just to clip the ends and make the starter locks a little more neat when I start locks on my clients in the future. Okay, so right here you can see me kind of like 
um, parting this out and then starting the coil and at the very end you can see where it's more frayed um, at this portion that's a little higher than the area I did before so that's what I was talking about where I said like the higher I get the more frayed it kind of looked um, on her hair prior to coming in she did do a deep condition and wash her hair she also oiled her scalp with softy um, that's not an oil that I ordinarily use but it smelled great and it had her hair like so soft and healthy and she said that's what she normally uses on her hair um, so I might use it for some of my clients um, you know if they come in and they're just getting their hair braided not necessarily for locks because um, I did feel like the oil was kind of heavy but it worked really well on her hair um, so I've added that oil to my arsenal. I will try to find a link for it on Amazon and if I can, the affiliate link will be in the description box below. If you've made it this far thank you so much for watching leave a like at the bottom of this video um, to help my channel grow it does help with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more content um, I tried to make this video more like silent so I didn't have to do a lot of talking um, some videos that I've watched on YouTube I like watching them just retwist the hair something about that is soothing for me so I tried to do that this time with this video I will, I didn't have a lot of products to list this time, but I will leave um, information for the grease or the oil that she used in her hair in the description box. And I may um, include some of the, some affiliate links for products I ordinarily use in the description box as well. Um, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.